New Super Mario Bros. The first game in the New Super Mario Bros. series. The Back to Basics series. The game that brings back the nostalgia of the game that started the critically acclaimed Super Mario series. Super Mario Bros. A game where, as usual, Mario must go through many different levels, making his way to Bowser to defeat him in a battle, all to rescue Princess Peach. That's right. Today, I'm counting down my top five favorite new Super Mario Bros. levels. I would do ten, but there just aren't that many levels I'd like to the point of talking about. Of the four, or rather, five, new Super Mario Bros. installments, I have to say, this one's my least favorite, but I still love it a lot, and therefore, this will not be a waste of time. Also, it's just my opinion, and no one else's, as usual. So, let's sit- Wait, before we start, I just want to give out one honorable mention. World 8, Level 5. I like this level because it's the funnest one to utilize the blue shell power-up in. Just ride along and time your jumps, and you'll both have the course beat and have a fun time. It may be quite short, but still, it's my sixth favorite level. Can't see it getting any better than this? Well, you're in for quite a surprise, my friends. Now, let's go! Kicking off this list is World 2, Level 6. Mario will enter a pipe and be brought to an area in the sky with one long platform, which moves slowly to the right. Along the way, smaller, moving, piranha plant-carrying platforms will appear, and most of them will put said piranha plants on Mario's platform, making it harder for him to stay on it. Although, Mario can get rid of them if he has a fire flower. Also, eventually, the main platform... Well, platforms. About halfway through the level, another long platform will appear. But, anyway, eventually, the main platforms will leave Mario behind, forcing him to proceed with the smaller platforms. In this area, there will be a fire-breathing piranha plant, which will make Mario have to time his jumps even better. But, once he gets past all that, Mario will see the pipe to the flagpole and finish the level. This level is really fun, since there's no ground, and Mario can proceed only with the aerial platforms. And that's why it's my fifth favorite. Fourth place is World 8, Level 8. Mario is making his way through a level full of kabombs, which are similar to babombs, except that when stomped, they're defeated, and if Fire Mario burns them, they'll begin chasing him around until they explode like a firework. These kabombs can be a bit annoying, especially when they're hit with fire, but even more annoying is the volcanic debris, which is summoned by the volcanoes in the background. This debris falls to the ground slowly, and Mario must be careful to avoid them, or he'll lose power, or die if he has no power at all. Also, if the debris hits weaker platforming, it'll break it, making things all the more hard for Mario. This level is very thrilling, since it always has you on your toes, dodging kabombs and volcanic debris. Also, it's one of a kind, since kabombs don't appear anywhere else. All this easily gives World 8 Level 8 8th place. <coughs> uh, I mean, 4th place. Third place is World 7, Level 3. This level is similar to World 2, Level 6 in that there's no grounds, except in the starting area. However, instead of floating platforms, Mario must proceed with a giant wiggler. Like with all other wigglers, Mario can't walk on it, he can only bounce on it, and must continue doing so until he reaches the end point. Now you may be wondering, DOES THE WIGGLER HAVE INFINITE SEGMENTS? And the answer is, no, it doesn't. It does have a finite number of segments, so Mario shouldn't lollygag for too long, or he'll fall off the wiggler and die. Also, this is another one-of-a-kind level, since when Mario gets get a star, he'll leave a trail of blue coins, which he can go back to collect. But again, he must watch out for the last segment. That's right, this is the only level in which this happens. Along with that, it's really fun bouncing around and killing the enemies with the star. World 7 Level 3 is easily third place. Running up is World 4, Level 6. After proceeding a little, Mario will see Dory and must ride him along through the level. However, it's not quite as simple as that. There will be some platforms that Mario won't be able to ride under with Dory, so he must run over them and meet Dory on the other side. Exacerbating this is that there are enemies everywhere, which, as always, Mario must avoid unless he wants to lose power slash die. Once Mario gets past all these platforms and enemies, he'll see the edge pipe and finish the level. This level is, yet again, one of a kind, since it is the only one in which Dory appears, and he's the only way for Mario to proceed through. Also, it kinda has you on your toes, since there are quite a few enemies, and Mario must be careful not to fall in the poison water while riding on Dory, since, like lava, it kills him instantly, no matter how much power he has. All this easily gives World 4 Level 6 second place. Nine. 
Not so finally, number one. It's from World 7, and it's yet another one-of-a-kind level. It's none other than World 7, Level 2. Like in World 2, Level 6, Mario can proceed only with a moving platform. However, this one's quite different. It moves upward, and Mario can control its direction simply by moving on it. Mario must ride this platform all the way to the top of the level, until he reaches the exit pipe. However, there are several Koopas and Paratroopas scattered throughout, so Mario must avoid them. Duh. He must do this by moving the platform away from them. And finally, one thing I feel I should point out is that the edges of the screen have no boundary, meaning that Mario can pass by one side and end up on the other, which makes it a bit easier to avoid the enemies. Sorry, that's pretty much all there is to this level, but the reason I love it so much is because, again, it's one of a kind, since no other levels have controllable, upward-moving platforms. Also, since, again, there are enemies, specifically Koopas and Paratroopas everywhere, it has you on your toes. It's no surprise, World 7 Level 2 is my number one favorite new Super Mario Bros. level of all time. So there you have it, my top 5 favorite new Super Mario Bros. levels of all time. For more videos like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please be sure to check out my social media, all links are in the description. See you next time, Mikoro Gliscor 472 out.